this episode of Playing in Paradise, we travel to one of Europe's hottest destinations, Iceland. Rich in Nordic history and folkloric Viking traditions, this volcanic island feasts in its natural features of enchanting glaciers, soothing hot springs, lush green landscapes, and numerous active volcanoes, making this land of fire and ice a truly unique vacation destination. And here's someone known to melt a few hearts, your host, Lisa Gleave. Welcome to Playing in Paradise. I'm your host, Lisa Gleave. And on this very special episode, we're heading to the magical Republic of Iceland, the European nation whose only chill factor is its name. It's also famous for its breathtaking women, and we have five exotic Icelandic models ready to show you how to play it up in this ultimate paradise. in the capital city of Reykjavik, where we met up with local host, Austis Ron. Welcome, I'm Austis. I'm your guide to the rugged beauty of Iceland. Today I'm going to be with some of Iceland's most beautiful girls, and we're going to be playing in paradise. Located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge west of Norway and southeast of Greenland, the small Republic of Iceland is a hot spot of volcanic and geothermal activity with moderate temperatures and 24 hours of daylight in the summer. Originally settled by the Norwegian Vikings in the 9th century and with a current population of only 280,000, this tiny European treasure with its welcoming natives is the perfect blend of mystical Nordic culture and awe-inspiring beauty. Iceland is a very unique place for shooting movies, uh, doing photo shoots. We have unique nature, very special nature. We have a lot of colors everywhere. We have beautiful girls and I think we need a little bit more attention uh, from people in this industry to come and use this as a location. I just hope people come here and see what Iceland is all about. Icelandic girls are unique because of this famous Icelandic beauty. You can't really describe what it is, but you have to come to Iceland to see it. We have a big variety of girls here. We have, uh, you know, blondes, brownies, black hair, everything. It's not only the blondes here, like many people think. It's not very easy for them to be modeling in Iceland because we are islands in the middle of nowhere, so it's not much opportunities for them to work. But uh, they do whatever they can in Iceland, and if they get lucky, they can go to the US or Europe to work. Our Icelandic models define the true meaning of beauty. Let's meet our first one. Hi, my name is Tina Sigurdottir and I live outside of Reykjavik. I like modeling at the Blue Lagoon the most. It's just so beautiful and it was my first shoot. And also I liked what I was wearing. It was a little bit cold, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a great time. Being photographed, I feel really sexy. I mean, I'm wearing really beautiful bikinis and the makeup is perfect. Also, I have a great crew, camera crew and photographer who help me a lot through the poses and tell me what to do. I just feel amazing. There are so many things you can see here. For example, this place and uh, the Blue Lagoon, 
is one of a kind, and the mountains, they are so beautiful. If I could play in paradise anywhere in the world, I would like to get off the ice and, and go to Hawaii. Coming up, our native gals explore one of Iceland's many glaciers, right here on Playing in Paradise. Welcome back to Playing in Paradise from the magical land of Iceland. Iceland is home to the largest glacier in Europe. Our models had the chance to explore part of this natural wonder by snowmobile and dog sled. Before venturing out into the frosty wilderness of Iceland, you need to be prepared. And that means putting on layer upon layer to ward off the bone chilling temperatures of the frozen tundra. The models take it seriously and get all bundled up on their way to exploring this vast winter wonderland. Have you ever gone dog sledding before? No, not either? No. No. How about you? Never. No? First time, huh? So we're all newbies on this. Hi. <laughs> Let's go uh, check out the snowmobiles. Yeah. Glacier, it's the fourth biggest in Iceland. It's about 600 square kilometers, and the average thickness is about 225 meters. Okay, down here we have the Sólhimajökull glacier. It's a glacier tongue. It's moving because of the pressure up on the main glacier. It's pressing down the ice, so we have the glacier. It's moving about one foot per day. That's why we have this big crevasses down there. If you feel like falling off the sled, then you can hold on to these ropes here. You can hold on to this one here, and you can hold on to each other. Rasta! Are you not clear? Are you not clear? Yeah, I got it. Dog sledding is an experience that does not create any air or noise pollution. Silence is the true gift. Adventure and sightseeing are combined on this unique tour, and today the girls are exploring Iceland's fourth largest glacier that lies on the active volcano Kotla. Like elsewhere in the world, Iceland's glaciers are shrinking more and more every year due to global warming, making this a truly irreplaceable encounter. It's really good on snowmobiles today. Thank you. If you're ever in the neighborhood again, you can come again to take a snowmobile right up with us. Definitely. Better than that. We're coming again. Sure. We're coming for sure. You're welcome. Thank you. The Nordic are rich in beauty and heritage. Let's get to know our next Icelandic model. My name is Kirstin Seredotir. I'm originally from Reykjavik, Iceland. Born and raised until I was 14 years old. I moved to the United States and have lived there for 10 years. Now I'm back again, as I'm glad to be, since I'm kind of getting to know my country again. The Icelandic people are really into nature. We go camping a lot especially through summer, we can use all the sun and all the good weather we get. I mean, as soon as the sun comes out, we all go and camp and enjoy the nature. This place is called Jökuls Out Alone. It's basically glacier rivers. We just got here and it's been nine hours or something and it was well worth it. This place is beautiful. The Blue Lagoon was awesome. I definitely had my best experience there. Um, well, first of all, the Blue Lagoon is warm, but here today is my other favorite. I love the scenery. I just love being able to sit here and look at this beautiful country. The bikini that I was wearing was bright orange, so it's completely opposite from the nature, everything I'm surrounded by. This is cool because I really stood out. So yeah, it kind of felt like you know, I guess I can kind of feel like the sun is shining, right? If I have that bikini on. I think that everybody should come to Iceland and experience this country. The 
countryside as well as in town because in town you get crazy and fun. Everybody parties like rock stars uh, until early morning and you definitely go and have good food as well as go out camping. You gotta experience this beautiful, beautiful country. I mean, it really is like playing in paradise. Where can you find 90 degree waters in the Atlantic Ocean? Right here in Iceland's Blue Lagoon. Warmed by geothermal currents, this natural hot spring is a perfect place to relax and rejuvenate. The Blue Lagoon is a pool of uh, geothermal seawater. The water comes from natural sources deep as 6,000 feet. It has the same salinity as the Atlantic Ocean. And it's two-thirds salt water and one-third fresh water. It's very well known for its active ingredients. It's a mineral, silica and algae. And the temperature uh, is about uh, 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So it maintains a, a good bathing temperature. The size of the lagoon is uh, 5,000 square meters and the lagoon itself holds uh, 6 million liters of water at its time. The unique color of the Blue Lagoon is a combination of both the uh, silica and the algae. And what happens is that the algae sits on the silica particles and it also depends on the daylight. When we have very blue skies, we have a little bit bluer water and during the flourishing season for the algae, it turns a little more green. Annually, we have a number of visitors of 350,000, and for comparison, the population of Iceland is 300,000. Stick around when we return our models heat things up in this glacier-covered country right here on Playing in Paradise. Welcome back to Playing in Paradise from the Republic of Iceland. We've got another gorgeous model. Let's meet her right now. My name is Ingibjörg Einarsdóttir and I live here in Reykjavík and I was also born here. Uh, currently I am a student at Reykjavík's University studying business management and I'm also a model. I have five horses which I have bred myself and trained and I've competed in horses since I was a small girl. When we shot at the ocean, it was sunny and it was a great day, but the sea here in Iceland is cold. But it felt good because I like to be the center of attention in front of the camera. And it's nice to have 10 guys working around me and making me feel as, look as beautiful as I can. I think it's just an ego boost or something. <laughs> When I'm in front of the camera, I just try to think positive thoughts and bring out positive energy to make the pictures look as good as they can. If I could go anywhere for playing in paradise, I would go to the Bahamas. Our ladies had a chance to warm up and model some of the finest furs in Europe. Let's take a look. We're looking forward for tonight. It's going to be the biggest night of the year, right? One of them. But uh, here's Egert. Uh, let's go inside and uh, check all their uh, fur out yep. and meet Egert at the same time. Hi, Egert. Hi, nice to meet you. These are my ladies. Uh, we are here. They really love furs, so can we take a look at your furs? Please do. Be welcome and try on whatever you want, if you can find them. Please. Uh, 
I've been in this location for 20 years. I've been in the business for 30 years. And uh, I have uh, specialized in uh, custom making coats. So I have people come to Iceland from all over the place, asking to design for them. And uh, obviously I'm buying them first from Russia, Canada, States, wherever they come from for to fit the individual custom. We are using a lot of uh, Icelandic land. We are using mix, sables, and the uh, open to white first, which I like very much. Uh, to my beliefs that we should work together with nature. I'm also using fish skin, and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to use as much as possible. It's been great to work with them. Uh, I've been working with girls from Miss Iceland for a long time, and uh, so it's really a pleasure to see these girls here. I'm sure you're ready for another Playing in Paradise model, and here she is. My name is Linda Ir Svensdottir. We're here at the Glacier Lagoon and it's a wonderful day. I really like this place. This week has been great. Uh, we've been to the Blue Lagoon and also to a waterfall. Modeling here has been very interesting. I was wearing fur and a bikini under it, and it was very sexy, and I liked it. I feel comfortable when I'm modeling because I love what I was wearing, and it was really sexy, and it was absolutely fantastic. My favorite place to do the modeling suit was here at the Glacier Lagoon. We have uh, clear water and birds and seals. If I would go to any place to be at the show playing in paradise, it would be Hawaii. A country blessed with clean and icy cool waters. Iceland is world famous for its amazing seafood. Our models were treated to a very special feast at the seafood cellar. We are at a very special place. This is one of my favorite places in Iceland and one of the best restaurants in the world. The name is the Sea Cellar and I have the manager here, Gunnar. And Gunnar, can you tell us why the food is so good here? Um, the reason is probably that we just put our soul in the food and the presentation and we aim to shock and awe people with our food. Can you tell us about the menu we are having tonight? Tonight we're going for the exotic menu, which is kind of a tasting menu. We start by doing a lot of different starters then a lot of different main courses and a lot of different desserts in the end. Of course, we are mostly going for seafood, since it's a seafood restaurant, but there's a little bit of meat courses in between, and this is uh, our pride, this menu, okay. our exotic menu. Thank you. Enchanting landscapes, exotic women, and centuries of Nordic heritage. All this and more when Playing in Paradise continues. Welcome back to Playing in Paradise from the Republic of Iceland. Our next model represented her country as Miss Iceland in last year's Hawaiian Tropic International Pageant. My name is Raquel and I'm from Iceland, Reykjavik. I'm in school and I work as a part-time model.
I love Iceland because it's so peaceful and uh, the people are so nice. They really make you feel welcome. Girls in Iceland, uh, some of them are just like good girls and go to school and don't drink. And the other girls, the other half, party every weekend and they go crazy. When I'm in a photo shoot, I feel sexy, I feel confident. I like the attention, it's fun. Not all the photo shoots are alike, so it's fun to take a different project. When I was younger, I wanted to be Marilyn Monroe because she's so beautiful. It's just an example how a beautiful woman she looked like. Now, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to look like. Just myself, probably. It's the best thing. If I could go anywhere in the world to shoot playing in paradise, I would probably go to Hawaii. Iceland's capital Reykjavik is known as one of the best party towns in all of Europe. Our girls took to the streets to experience the local nightlife. Over the weekends, if the weather is right, Icelanders party in mass around Lykatorg, the so-called Spring Square, which is at the center of the oldest section of Reykjavik. The array of nightlife here is unmatched anywhere in Europe, and the festivities wouldn't be complete without a brilliant firework display painted against the pale blue horizon. We have uh, the group box, we have a lot of DJs here and everything. And it's a really cool place, one of the coolest places now in Iceland. Many people come here and we are just aiming out people to come here to have a relaxing atmosphere, to enjoy themselves and have everything what the fun is about. Can you tell me what's so special about Brax? I think it's the general atmosphere, uh, the ambience. It's a dark place, kind of. We have a great clientele, great drinks, best mojito in Reykjavik. Uh, we have three kinds of music in the house. We have two, two floors, we have two VIP rooms, two tapas for people. I hope you enjoyed this amazing episode from one of the coolest places on the planet, Iceland. Thank you and goodbye. I'm Lisa Gleave, and we'll see you next time right here on Playing in Paradise.